No Joey B in the land. Hi again, everyone. I'm James Rapine with AllBengals.com and Cincinnati Bengals Talk, and welcome in to the fastest growing Bengals YouTube channel on the planet. Boy, oh boy, before I get to Joe Burrow and I get to uh, Jamar Chase and what Zach Taylor said about Jamar Chase, I got to thank you. Yes, you, because we crossed the 10,000 subscriber mark on Wednesday afternoon, and I had to check to see if it was morning or afternoon. Wednesday afternoon, and uh, look, Andrew Fox Miller, I mentioned him. I try to mention him on every video because he puts in a ton of work. Um, you know, obviously, we've tried to bring you, uh, you know, quality Bengals videos because when you looked at the Bengals market, and, and when I came back here, it was something that I, I was like, man, that's lacking. There's a lot of Bengals fans out there that are passionate, and damn it, we need to give them. Uh, quality videos. So if you go back to when we really launched in March of 2021 to now, the quality has slowly gotten better. I feel like I sound better. We're getting uh, more of a hang of it. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is just the start. We're not going anywhere. Uh, you know, since we launched, Lindsay Patterson joined and so many things have happened. Uh, you know, at least Jesse, you're going to see an interview from her this week. Like it's, uh, it's an exciting time for the Bengals. It's an exciting time for us. And we're ecstatic to be able to bring you daily coverage that we uh, try to do each and every day here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. So let's dive into it. Joe Burrow isn't going to play against the Cleveland Browns. Uh, he's not going to start at least. Could dress uh, and play a, you know, the emergency quarterback role if needed. And, and that's the thing. It feels like a preseason game, but the Bengals still only have 53 players on the roster, including, you know, not including the, the practice squad. So it does make it tough. Some of these guys are going to have to play. It's not like you can just bring in a whole new team, but I think it's the right decision with Joe Burrow. He's got the knee, which is he's dinged up, didn't practice on Wednesday, by the way, but dinged up and has been battling the pinky and is playing better than any other quarterback, despite seriously, I think he's playing better than any other quarterback in the NFL despite dealing with those things, despite getting hit more than any other quarterback, it feels like, despite being sacked more, this is a fact, uh, than any other quarterback in the NFL. He's eluding defenders. He's outrunning defenders. He's carrying the franchise. Give him a rest. And I get it. The number one seed could be on the line. To me, you know, it would really suck if it, it came down to that. And, and you know, a, a loss is what costs them. At the same time, it's unrealistic. So the risk versus reward, to me, pretty simple. You <laughs> dial it back a bit. You give him a rest. I don't think a lot of these guys are going to play, uh, you know, their full a lot of snap counts, right? You know, a lot of the starters will probably be active, but they might get a series and then just be, hey, stay ready for an emergency roll in case we have a bunch of injuries. Um, it would be awesome if they could still win. And I think they all have a shot to win with Brandon Allen. It's worth noting that Case Keenum's going to start at quarterback. Joe Mixon went on the COVID-19 reserve list. And so he's out on Sunday and he's not the only one. Uh, Akeem Davis Gaither, Von Bell, Trey Hendricks, and Trey Hopkins, Quentin Spain, all put on the COVID-19 reserve list. They were put on on Tuesday, so they could be eligible and come back Sunday. Mixon is reportedly out for Sunday's game. Look, if it's happening, at least it's happening now. That would be the positive, but certainly worth monitoring. Um, and hopefully this is kind of it because the Bengals have been good about avoiding serious outbreaks. And it feels like that this one, now you're talking about starters. Spain would have been out this week anyway, but Trey Hopkins, um, guys like that. And that's another reason, by the way, why you don't play Burrow potentially if Hopkins isn't in there. Uh, Trey Hendrickson, Guys that are, are huge and crucial to what you do, and now Joe Mixon, I would hold them all out, make sure they're ready to go for the playoff game, whoever the, the Bengals play, and what will likely be that wild card round a week uh, from this weekend. We don't know which day they'll play. They could play Saturday, Sunday, Monday, so we'll keep you posted on that. The other thing I wanted to get to is Jamar Chase. Now, on Tuesday, we did a whole awards thing where I gave my thoughts on Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow and then Zach Taylor and their chances of winning coach of the year, MVP, comeback player of the year, or in Chase's case, offensive rookie of the year. And to me, it's a no brainer. Like you look at the production over 1400 yards, rookie record, Super Bowl era record, uh, certainly a, a Bengals record in a bunch of different Bengals records from his 266 yards last Sunday, uh, which is, you know, a rookie record, but 
obviously a Bengals franchise record. Uh, the 13 touchdowns receiving are a Bengals rookie record, second uh, in the NFL history among rookies. And then the 79 receptions are a Bengals rookie record. So with that said, even without his, you know, with that production, he's been productive in the run game and he's, you know, changed everything for this offense. He's really helped them get to another level. So I asked Zach Taylor this question and I kind of put him on the spot on Wednesday because I wanted to get his answer and I thought it was a good one. So let's start with my question. And here's what Zach had to say about Jamar Chase. Given his production, uh, what he's done in the run game and, and the impact he's had, yeah. Do you think he's a clear-cut offensive rookie of the year? Um, I, I think he's certainly earned it. You know, at, at the same time, I don't follow the performances from everybody else. But sure, um, sure. all I can say is I'm really glad that he plays receiver for us. I'm glad he's on our team. Um, what he's done as a rookie has been tremendous. Um, if he got that award, that would that would be the, one of the least surprising things I've ever seen in my life because he's earned it. Um, I'm really glad that you pointed out his effort in the run game because he's not afraid to come in that box and dig people out and chase guys down the field and help his teammates. And and to me, that speaks more about Jamar than than the three touchdowns he had in the game receiving. You know, it's it's more just um, what he's done for his teammates and for this offense, for this team, and giving us that energy and the willingness to get dirt, down and dirty. And, uh, you know, it, that that part has been what's made me the most proud of, of his performance this year and um, not surprising at all to see how he goes about his business and see the success that he's had. It would be the least surprising thing ever. I love it. I love it. And uh, it's true. He should win it. And that's about as uh, bullish as you'll see with Zach. And yeah, he hasn't been following everybody else. But let, guess what? Jamar Chase has been a better rookie, a more outstanding rookie than freaking Mac Jones. Mac Jones has been good, no doubt about it. Not knocking him. It's not an insult. But again, look at the difference. Look at the impact. Look at the, the direction. It's got to be, got to be, got to be Jamar Chase. And clearly, Zach Taylor agrees. Unclear if Jamar will play on Sunday. He's only 12 yards shy of breaking Chad Johnson's single season receiving record. Chad did that in his prime. Jamar Chase is 21, and he's got a shot to do it this Sunday. If he does suit up, maybe you give him a quick bubble screen or two, a slant or two, uh, maybe a drive or two like the preseason, have him get that record and tell him to get the hell out of there. I did ask Zach about that. He said, it's not about that. It's about winning the game. You still want to win the game, but he's going to take care of his guys in the process, which I think is the right call going into the playoffs, especially since it's pretty unlikely that the Bengals get the number one seed in a bye. Uh, the other thing. That's exciting. And if you don't know, I host a daily Bengals podcast, Locked on Bengals. And so my co-host, Jake Lisko and me, we teamed up with Rivertown Inquiry. Yes, that Rivertown Inquiry that sponsors Cincinnati Bengals talk. And we created and, and Seth Reese help us des helped us design this. He did design it, by the way. But uh, we were able to, with Doug and his team, create the shirt a special tea that you can get right now at rivertowninquiry.com. And you can see it right there. They fit great. Uh, if you want a unique shirt to show off your Bengals fandom, and I get it, it's not a Cincinnati Bengals talk shirt, but it's it's one that I'm going to be rocking and, and one that you're going to see me wear in videos. They just dropped, they just finished uh, production today on Wednesday afternoon. Doug and his team got the link up. So Check them out right now. You have to, rivertowninquiry.com. And then there's a search bar on the top left. Just type in my name, James Erpine, and it's going to pop up. Boom, right there. I feel like John Madden. Boom, right there. You can get uh, your tea now. There's a limited supply, right? There's a limited supply. So if you want one, grab one right now, rivertowninquiry.com. Again, just search James Erpine. It'll pop right up. You can order your size, and Doug is great about shipping. Plus, they have a ton of other stuff for you as well. And if you want to see them in person, you can. They're open Tuesday through Sunday. So if you're coming in town for the playoff game and you're coming in on a Friday, you'll be able to visit them no problem at all. And hopefully I see you uh, and, and we get to, to say hi to all the out-of-towners or maybe you're just going to the playoff game and you haven't been to a game yet this year. Uh, yeah, I know I'm foreshadowing the future. I'm going to Cleveland this weekend for the, the Week 18 game, but um, just letting you know. So rivertowninquiry.com. Again, just type in James Erpine, and uh, you'll be able to order your shirt there. They're awesome. I love them. They're comfortable. I've worn the shirts 
but I haven't worn this version of it. Uh, the, the one I wore, wore had a, a littler lock. We had a bigger one made and uh, because the lock was just too small in ours, so we made it bigger. It's, uh, it's perfect. Check it out right now, rivertowninquiry.com. Again, thank you so much for 10,000. Ecstatic about it. it. Literally couldn't be happier, but I uh, just want to let you know we're not going anywhere. We're going to continue. We're going to pick up steam. We're motivated, more motivated than ever. So for Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Erpine signing off again. Thank you, all of you, for watching. This is Cincinnati Bengals Talk, and we'll talk to you soon.